Hello, Sheila Gibbs here. As you all know, today is the second anniversary of the tragic police ball bombing, which took out over 300 of our beloved public servants. Now, in honor of that anniversary, we have a special guest today, Detective Lewis Tate. Thanks for having me. I watch the show all the time, and I get no end of ribbing for it. <laughs> I am flattered. So, as we all know, hometown hero Victor Time perished terribly, along with his entire family. <laughs> and you just surpassed his record for the highest percentage of arrests and closed cases. Did you know Victor? I did. I've never known a more upstanding guy. I'm honored to be able to have called him a friend. Crime in this city has gone down 70% in the past two years. That's seven zero people. Now, do you attribute the success to Captain Famous or the gala? Well, I think Captain Famous is a coward and an egomaniac. <gasps> I put my life on the line every day, and I don't do it behind a mask. Well, they have to wear masks, and superpowers are still illegal here. Superpowers are illegal for a reason. Gala has no boundaries, and everyone knows we couldn't stop them if we wanted to. That's terrifying. So you are anti-hero. I am a public servant. Your boyfriend and his posse are rogues. <laughs> boyfriend? Well, can't say I don't wish. <laughs> so then you're free for dinner tonight. Excuse me? Did I stutter? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, what do I say to that? You say yes. All right, Detective Smooth Talker, you have yourself a date. And all I had to do was ask on live TV. Well, super or not, we're glad you're out there protecting us. Might you come back? We'll see how dinner goes. <laughs> this is Sheila Gibbs, signing off.